If you can tell who's on screen, well, yep, you've already figured out who our mysterious little boy is. How are you feeling today, Miss Lynn? Your therapist, a middle-aged lady with raven black hair and a slender face, asked her hazel eyes consoled, oh, con oh God, concealed by round glasses. She held a cardboard, she held a cardboard and pen between her slim fingers. A firm expression stayed on, but you could tell deep inside she was terrified i i'm not sure my heart won't stop beating from paranoia i feel dizzy actually you spoke without giving your thought some comp compersension beneath your eyes set those dark bags imitating your lack of sleep Take a few deep breaths, Miss Lynn. You'll be fine. She was sure for the third time. She hoped you could be helped out of the trauma experience you've underwent, but progress seemed dreadfully steady. You have nothing to be afraid of. Keeping everything to yourself isn't going to help, Miss. So please, you need to speak out your feelings. I'm not sure where to begin from. Your hands clutched tight, gaze fixing on your legs. Fingers act oh my god. Act oh my god. Anxiety gazing over the soft skin of your neck uh, freckle no, freckles knuckles from where everything started. You draw in a deep breath and that leaves you wobbly, taking in another you hold it inside your throat. You always thought the bright atmosphere would upside you in the hardest of times. But now, whenever you stare outside the window, you could feel something but dread. No, nothing but dread. It leaves you with everlasting emotions of the scene you were involved in. Gulping, you begin your speech. I thought he didn't like me. You continued after a moment of comprehension. Honestly, I never thought that such an innocent face would leave me scared for my life. He seemed so sweet at first. I tried confessing my feelings, but it would be rejected. So I generously disappointed when he accepted another girl's confession. She was a classmate. We had known each other. I thought I didn't matter to him. Not a single bit. Uraka, are you okay? You laid on the concrete ground, injured, littered over your head. <sighs> Sorry. Hearing his voice suddenly had you away from passing out, but looking at the couple made your heart ache. You could feel tears welling up in your eyes. You struggled to get up. You didn't want to be here. Guts slipped grunts slid past your lips as you got up to your feet sterilizing dragging yourself when you certain that no one can see you you let out those tears flow through your organ of sight your heart ached very with every beat it took to survive i should be happy I mean, I don't mean anything to this world. Whoever I like never returned my fondness I have for them. Why would I ever reincarnate such feelings? You thought to yourself, gulping down the moans of agony, gritting your teeth to forcefully stop your weakened barrier. I'm not pretty, so of course nobody likes me. I'm better of living a single for the rest of my life. I don't want to feel these emotions ever again. You sit with your classmate, a certain energetic redhead with spiky hair. He approached, concerned. Hey, Lynn, you seem sad, he said, lips tugging down to frown. 
do I? Sorry for the fam. Oh my God. Sorry. I'm gonna read that again. Hey, Lynn, you seem sad. He said, lips tugged down to a frown. Do I? I'm sorry. I'm just stressed. You replied, lost in your thoughts to make eye contact. You know you could always share it with me. My lips are sealed. You choked out a chuckle, smiling a rather sad grin. Looking at him, you spoke. Thanks, but it's best if I leave it a secret. Hmm? Why don't you come sit with us at least? He suggested, worry present in those scarlet eyes of his. Taking his advice, you looked around to guess where he would be sitting. But after seeing a certain green hair, you dismissed his offer. Thanks, but I'm fine being alone. After he left with a heart, with a broken heart, you shield a single tear that felt discomfort, discomfort consuming you again. Hey, Yin, the one you've been avoiding this so drastically had you concerned, had you cornered while sitting alone outside. F it. You wanted to walk away, but your legs seemed to be glued to the ground. Why are you avoiding me all of a sudden? He asked, preparing with an answer. You looked up from your lap, staring into the distance. Just feel like it? Why did I do something wrong? Izuku asked, blinking back with tears. No, I didn't anything wrong. Not you, you said, still not ready to meet his gaze. But you... But you didn't do anything. Shut up. Stop, okay? I don't want to talk to you. I'm feeling extremely irritated today. So I'm so sorry for behaving like this. But we need to stop talking. You shout out. Oh, you shouted out. A bit louder than you anticipated. Mo momentarily gazing his way, you got up preparing yourself to leave. Why? Are you breaking our friendship? Maybe... I don't want to see your face nor hear your voice ever again. Just forget about it. I don't matter. You yelled, swiftly walking away, ignoring his response to the words you just had. Why do I have to, to give this to him? Aren't you his girlfriend? Why don't you do it instead? You said, although those words were harsh, you m made sure to say it out as softly as you could even manage. After the outburst with your friend, you didn't want your emotions to get the best of you. Yeah, but I think you should go. Sorry, but I need to get home soon. You said to desperate to avoid him at all cost. But that didn't happen, of course. That sa same day, he kept knocking at your door, pleading for you to let him inside. Unfortunately, your parents had left for the night for some slip celebration you didn't care for listening to yen please tell me what i did wrong frankly you feel bad for not telling him the reason behind your decision but you but were scared of getting to the topic you were aware of, you could break down and who knows what you would do when you're not in your proper state of mind just leave azuku why are you even wasting your time on me you shouted, walking up to the door. No, I need to know why you're doing this to me. Please, you mean the world to me. You're the reason why I'm still alive. He cried out. Hearing him cry frantically made you feel even worse. You, cased at, you chased, well, chased at the entrance, hesitant to open the door. Pressing your lips together, you draw back, swallowing down the thought, so the tightening muscles of your throat. Huh. There were, was complete silence, but a loud crack made it its way to your ears. Jumping to, up to your feet, you dashed towards the sound, nor, nor, mortified to see him climbing in through a broken window. Your eyes wide, you stared at the male before you. Why did you do that? Because you're le not letting me in. How else was I supposed to get in? No, leave. 
leave right now. I'm not leaving, he retorted, inching, inching dangerously closer to you. Why are you <sighs> wasting your time on me? Just go away. I don't want to see your face. Why can I always change my face for you? I'm not going to leave without you. Stepping back, you stared into his deranged green eyes. Stop, just stop it, Izuku. Stop toying with my feelings. One time you care about me, and the other time I don't even matter. Why are you doing this to me? You sobbed, not holding back your tears. He halts, wide-eyed. You rejected my feelings. You don't care. So why should I care when you don't care about me? I didn't. You slapped his hand away from you before he could try and reach for your face. Of course you didn't. Get out. Get out right now. Or else I'm calling the police. N no, 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 no. You won't. I'm sorry for not considering your feelings for me again. I'm so sorry. Please, you have to forgive me. He desperately cried out, his hands gripping your th shoulders. I moved on, Izuku. I don't think I have those feelings. You replied, tugging yourself away from his grasp. No, 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 that's not true. Please say that you're lying, Yin. Pulling away from him, you continued to speak back, back away from his approaching figure. Hearing back no response, he began to cry, even harder, hyperventilating. Cl clutching his head, he paced around, anxi around anxiety. This wasn't supposed to happen. I accepted her feelings to make you feel something towards me. It wasn't supposed to go this way. I messed up. What have I done? He continues to mutter. A habit he developed when he's frightened. You stared at him, both confused and scared. This wasn't him. I need to do something. I need to fix this. Yin, please return my feelings. Please. I promise I won't ever talk to her again. I just need you. Breathing heavily, he walks closer t to your retreating body. Seeing those crazed eyes was enough to make you realize that you were in trouble. Running as fast as you possibly could, you managed to reach the staircase before you you're grabbed by the deranged, your deranged friend who had you such in a tight grip. Thrashing and squirming, you tried to elbow him in the face, but that didn't lose his clutch on you. Stop being so mean, Yin! Dropping you to on the ground, he m mounts himself on top of you, struggling to keep you from running away. Having your arms reframed, you coiled your head back to hit w head with his, quickly staring away. He groans in pain, holding his aching head. Filled with rage, he drags you back, this time gripping your neck. I really need you, Yin. Please stop. Suddenly losing consciousness, you struggle to escape the de declines, moments slowing down, your vision growing foggy. After that, you weren't ha sure how you were saved. The neighbors had heard the commotion, so they had called the police. Fortunately, they arrived just in time. As for Izuku, you don't know what happened to him. Do you know where he is, Miss Lin? No, and that's the thing that keeps me scared for the rest of my life. Whoa, that got a bit dark. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, as you guys know, if you have seen my um, community post, I have Karishima, or well, two villain Karishima for... Red Rose, and I will hopefully be posting them tomorrow. And just to let you know, one of them is spicy, and I'm going to be experimenting to see if YouTube will allow me to post it because I have seen some YouTubers do that, and I'm gonna be pissed if um, YouTube is like, oh, can't do that. No, no, no. So I'm gonna try, and hopefully, you guys enjoy. Bye, lovelies.